In August of 2021, Adobe announced that they were going to purchase Frame.io for $1.28 billion. And in the latest release of Adobe Creative Cloud, Adobe actually integrated Frame.io into Premiere Pro and After Effects. And inside this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to actually use Frame.io with your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription inside Adobe After Effects. What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy. If you're new here, I post After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorials once a week. Feel free to subscribe if you like these videos and be sure to drop a like button. It really helps my channel out and it also helps provide this information to a wider audience as well. Now let's see how Frame.io actually works inside Adobe Creative Cloud. So before we get started, I think it's important to realize what is actually included with your Adobe Creative Cloud account. So within Creative Cloud, what's actually included is up to two users, five projects and 100 gigabytes of storage space, and also access to camera to cloud technology, uploading straight from your camera up to Frame.io. So, you know, it's a little limited. And if you want to play around, learn how to use this, you know, in this tutorial, then experiment with the plan. See if you want to actually buy more space or add more users. I'll link pricing down below for all the different plans as well. Now, in the general sense of things, actually, if you're just going to use the base you know, what's provided with your subscription, I would honestly recommend using Frame.io as a reviewing service. So, you know, you work on your project and you upload to Frame.io, it's great to send it to the client to have them review it. So that's what I'm going to be primarily demoing in this video here. All right, so I'm inside Adobe After Effects and I opened up a project just to show you guys how this works. So to get to the Frame.io menu, what you'll want to do is go to Window, Frame I review with Frame IO, and this will open up this window here. And then what you'll want to do is click continue with your Adobe ID, and this will essentially log you into Frame IO. So what Adobe's actually doing here is they're actually creating an a Frame IO account using your same credentials. So if you ever have to log into Frame IO on the website or whatnot, you're going to use your same Adobe Creative Cloud subscription credentials, the same username and password. So once you're in, it'll say you know, it'll give you a sample project and then you can click create first project. It'll walk you through how to use it for the first time. And you can enter in your project name. So I'm just gonna enter a test project for now. You can choose, you know, who in your team can see this project, allow downloads, new comments for email notifications. Then you'll click Create Project. And now if we go back into Adobe After Effects, what you'll see here in this panel are the different projects. So you're seeing the demo project. What you can do is reload. And then you'll see the test project that I just created here. So I'll just go into this and this is basically this project. So that's how you work with online and inside Frame, the Frame I.O. panel inside Adobe After Effects. Now, if you're in Premiere Pro, it works very similarly. It's the same type of panel as in After Effects. All right, so let's actually see how do we upload, you know, render this out. I have an animation here that I want to actually render out and send to a client. To actually do that, then, what you'll want to do inside your project here in the Frame I.O. panel is click Upload. And what you can choose is Active Comp. So it's going to basically render out and upload this active comp. And once you click that, you can name it. You can choose the preset, so you can change this. I'm just gonna change this to high quality, best settings, the work area, so it's taken from the work area of the composition, or you can also choose whole composition outside of the work area. And then where it's gonna render to, by default, it will render it into the project directory. So that folder where your you know, After Effects project is actually saved at, it's gonna choose there, or you can click custom folder. You can check keep rendered file or not to, if you uncheck it, it won't keep it. An auto version will, will actually go into a little bit later, which is a cool feature where you can actually start stacking different versions. Then you'll click upload. Then it will basically, what it'll do first is render it out of After Effects and then it will actually upload. So 
So as you can see guys, it actually saved the rendered file inside that root folder here. Now it's just finishing uploading up to Frame.io. Then it will create thumbnails for the actual project. And there it is guys, we have an uploaded video up to Frame.io. And now we can actually share this with the client. So to do that, you'll want to go in the top right corner, click share. You can actually share for review, but you have to actually do this online. Or you can add a collaborator here by clicking this button. Now keep in mind you're limited to two people, so you plus one other person here. So like I said, you know, it is limited with your account, but you can always upgrade. But to send a review link, what you want to do is go back into the web portion, then you can click share, share for review, then actually click on the media and then create a link. And then under this, you can actually copy the link by clicking that. You can make it public or disable it at any time. You can go into settings and if you want the client to uh, be allowed to download you can check this that way they can actually download the file or if you don't want them to download it just view as you know only you can uncheck it so this is actually how the client actually sees the file they can play it they can you know review it they can stop the video they can add it in the time you know comments in the timeline for example say if they you know they can you make the background slower then they can send it. Then uh, what they'll want to do is actually add in their, their email address, then actually add the name. So in this case, I'm just going to type in client. Now keep in mind, you know, I work a lot with external clients and customers a lot. And I honestly like the review link probably over the collaborator because it can be a little bit more confusing, especially for corporate clients or different people to actually create an account as a collaborator or user on Frame.io. But if you work with the same customer or client a lot, it might be easier to make them a collaborator or user. But I find review links really good to just send it, you know, to a customer and client and they can review it anonymously. So let's actually see how this looks back in our project. So if we go back into After Effects here um, and we click the refresh button in the top right corner, if we double click on this video, we can actually load it in this panel here. We can actually click on it and it'll go and jump to that marker in time. And what's nice is it actually jumps to that actual point in the timeline and the composition timeline. So for example here, if we wanted to make it slower, what I'm gonna do is actually just, you know, go back and do my effects here. I'm gonna go make the background spinning thing a little bit slower. Maybe increase, decrease it by half there. Then we'll render this back out. So I'm gonna show you guys version stacking, which is really nice. So we'll just click the back button. And what you can do is click upload, active comp. So once it uploads, guys, what you can do is actually click on it and drag it over this one. And this will essentially add that to that as a second version indicated by the V2 up here. And then when the client actually looks at this, if they refresh their link, they can actually see version two. And from the top here, you can see version two, version one. And they can even bring up comparison views and compare the two, which is a really nice feature. And actually as the client, if they like this new version, what they can do is actually change the status from the top right, enter in their email again and change it to approved. And then they can click approved. And then you get a notification saying that it has been approved. So that's pretty much it guys. That's how you use Frame.io with your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop comments down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.